How are you doing? This is KC from KC Grandpa Tech, where we talk about everything tech and fun stuff and much, much more. Hey, listen, as I get older, I'm having, I've been having some hand problems, and I'm going to be talking about a, couple, a series of different products that can help you with that. And that would also combine with the coronavirus, and we're trying to reduce exposure. I considered and found a product, an automatic soap dispenser for the house or business or whatever, and it's made by Revolt. Um, and I'm going to be talking about that and the benefits of getting an automatic soap dispenser versus a pump action. So let's get to that right now. So what I was looking for, again, well, I said that I wanted something that I didn't have to use the pump action anymore. At the same time, I wanted to make sure that it was, that it could put different types of soaps in it. Because, you know, you have different rooms that you could put, be using different types of soaps. So what I found was this particular model on Amazon. It's made by Reeve Volrit. Okay, it's an automatic foaming soap dispenser. It had two modes, uh, or has two modes, that I can have a lot of foam or a little bit of foam. And it had a large dispenser. And I, same thing I needed to be was water resistant or waterproof because I've had products where they get a little wet and next thing you know the batteries are all corroded and everything else. So this is what I found. And let me t let's unbox it and take a look at it and see what we found. So one of the benefits of having an automatic soap dispenser, of course, is that you don't have to actually do the pumping. The um, the one I here have here is the Revert automatic soap dispenser, which has got two modes. It um, the batteries are stored on top, and. Uh, what you're basically going to have to do to get the batteries in there, very simply, is to slide over this latch, which is right here. And then you just simply lift up the batteries. And then they're right on top. Um, I'm going to put that in right quick, and uh, we'll continue. So I put the uh, batteries in the top. Top goes on very simply and gives you a water resistant seal. Now, something you need to be sh understand about automatic soap dispensers. Um, they obviously come with two uh, settings, high foam, low foam, and they are uh, use a infrared sensor to tell you when to open it. But the main thing you have to remember, and a lot of people don't realize, is that when you're adding the soap, and this is probably where a lot of people waste a lot of money, is you're going to put one part soap and eight parts water. And you say, what? I said, well, you want it, you're not dispensing the soap. It's a foaming dispenser. So it has to have water to just mix with. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be right back. Yeah, with as you. I said, it's a one to eight ratio of soap to water. So I have placed some soft soap in the container, and then we're going to add some water. Be right back. So now I've added water to the container, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit and get right back to it. So let's finish talking about that nice product by Revoit Automatic Soap Dispenser. Uh, as you saw, the, so the battery compartment's on top, and it's got two doors closing it, which is going to resist if you drop it accidentally in the water or get water on it so the battery compartment won't corrode. The amount of fluid it can hold is excellent. Um, the only thing you're going to have to remember is that when you re filling it you're going to have to mix soap and water the recommended level is one to eight you'll have to adjust that slightly with the different types of soaps that are on the market right now um the nice thing about it it comes out foaming um and right now it's sitting in my bathroom um but you know you could, you could use it anywhere else in your kitchen you know if you have an office or anything else where you don't want people touching as many surfaces as you can, trying to reduce the spread of the contamination of the coronavirus and everything else that's going around. Um, and that's really what really this is about. For me, for, there's two reasons. One, one, I'm trying to make sure that we can reduce the spread of the virus. And secondly, you know, being older, I've got a little bit of, not arthritis, but, you know, motion in my hands. So getting that motion, pressing down on that is difficult for me. So that's why I purchased it. I totally recommend the Revo with uh, soap dispenser and consider buying one for your house. Until next time, please sh share 
and um, subscribe to the channel. Um, that's right down there. Just hit the subscribe button. Until next time, you have a great day.